Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Tuesday, July 5th, and the moon is in Virgo. It does shift into Libra at 626 p.m. on the east coast of the U.S. So, uh... <clears throat> I know many of you are very upset about what happened yesterday uh, outside of Chicago in Highland Park. Uh, hopefully, um, if you you live there or lived close to there, you're, you're home safe um, at this point. Today we have two shifting energies. Um, one of them is uh, Mercury. Mercury moves from its rulership in Gemini into uh, Cancer. Uh, Mercury in Gemini was really about all kinds of information coming at us very suddenly. Mercury is moving very quickly at this time, uh, which happens after uh, it has a retrograde, it like takes forever and then it shoots like an arrow and uh, it moves into Cancer, but it's really gonna only be in Cancer for about two weeks. So uh, this two-week period, uh, then it goes into Leo, which, of course, uh, it likes being in because Leo is a sign of self-expression. Cancer is a sign of uh, deep thinking and uh, introspection and uh, thinking about all those things that are important to Cancer, like um, safety and family and children and uh, making sure we have all we need to survive really um, so but it is a very emotional emotionally sensitive position for cancer I mean for mercury so we will be feeling our way through our thoughts and when mercury moves into cancer it's disposited by the moon and so we will find that our emotions or, our, or the way we take in information, Mercury, is colored by our feelings, um, which is also colored by what the moon is in. So right now, let me give you an example. Today, um, Mercury moves into Cancer. The moon goes from Virgo to Libra. And so we will be in a more conciliatory um, working together kind of that kind of energy because of the Libra moon. The other thing that's happening is the planet Mars is moving from Aries into Taurus. Today, in fact, is uh, the solar return for the U.S. So a lot of what happened before today, um, things that happened yesterday, things that uh, happened with the January 6th committee and all of that, um, well, certainly, that was all part of uh, uh, the United States' last personal vibration year, which was uh, the tower. Now we're in, um, as of today, we're in that 17.8 star vibration. And uh, that card is associated with Aquarius. And um, the United States has an Aquarius moon. So this is a time of more focusing on the people. Um, Mars moving into Taurus slows things down a bit. We become more considered as we, as we stop and maybe catch our breath from all that energy of Mars and Aries. And now we start to, uh, slowly figure out what it is. What's our next step? The last time Mars moved into Taurus was in the middle of the insurrection on January 6th. So that energy is being revisited, of course. And uh, I think we're all revisiting what it means to be American. And I think most people are sick and tired of being fodder for AR-15s, quite frankly. Now, that all seems very dour and dire. However, 
um, once the two planets shift um, signs, they go into a very po um, positive, if utilized, uh, sextile uh, between our mind and our actions. And that is to open the lines of communication, opening lines of communication and uh, gathering information, talking to one another, uh, discussing, perhaps listening. Um, it's time for us to figure out who we are and what we're going to do about it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what the bees are doing. The bees know. The bees knows. The bees are just digging on the flowers and gathering their nectar. We could learn something from the bees. Let's go over here and see. So hopefully you're all okay. I did, of course, immediately check on Ona because she lives in that general vicinity. And of course, you probably know right now she's fine because she does her morning things so early. But uh, let's send um, some um, good energy, some healing vibes to uh, everybody, really, but uh, especially those people who are dealing with, uh, yet again, an act of terror done by a young, well, we don't know, actually, right? He's a person of interest. I haven't watched the news, so you'll have to excuse me if more information has come out. Um, honestly, Oh, and I don't really want to say this, and I'll say it. What the f um, seems like a convenient, um, I don't know, it, maybe, I guess if he did it, he did it. But uh, it's almost a little too convenient, honestly. But, uh, of course, if he is the one, then he needs to, uh, we need to, you know, do what we need to do, right? You know, at a certain point, you, you don't even really know what to say. So I'll just let the flowers do the talk, any. <laughs> oh, we got a couple morning flowers over here. Let me show you. Of course, you can't really see them because I haven't weeded. Hopefully, I'll do that today now that it's not too sunny. All right, over here. I did mow. Looks good, right? All right, here we go. We got some more of these. We got some more flowers over here. These lovely day lilies. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have, I hope, uh, have a good day despite all of this crap. Um, best you can. Um, this is just a temporary, it's, it's something that we need to handle. It's something that we need to deal with. And, uh, you know, maybe it's mental health, but it's certainly gun control, right? And uh, also, um, I think there's, it's, 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 it's kind of a slippery slope, as they say, that people have the right to express uh, themselves. Um, and yet, if they're fomenting... Um, disruption. I don't know. I guess we still need to be able to say it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm at a loss, guys, so I apologize for that. Have yourself a wonderful day, and I will see you uh, tomorrow. Take care. Namaste.